Welcome to Session 4 of Pre and K Sunday School Video. I'm Miss Bev. I hope you had a wonderful and creative week. Did you discover some beautiful things in God's creation? Did you make something beautiful? Speaking of making something beautiful, we can use our creativity to make a diorama this week. Now, you may need some help, but it could be really fun. I made one just for fun. May I show you? Here it is. A diorama is usually made from a shoe box or a box lid and you put figures inside or other little things to create a scene. Um, I use the figures from our activity sheet to make the arrangement on the inside. I set the box on its side and the figures can stand up and you can bend the tab at the bottom of the figures that you punch out and that's for gluing to the bottom of your diorama. I can use the diorama to tell the Bible story for this week. Are you ready? Okay, get comfortable and picture God's creation just as we've learned about it. God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. But today, we'll hear about what happened next. God gives the first man and woman important work to finish. Can you imagine what work they will do? From Genesis 2.10 through 2.23 A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden, to, uh, garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had created all the animals. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken from out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now my bone of bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of a man. God made the world and all that was in it. God used... God used... Creativity! <laughs> when he made the world. A beautiful world for people to care for. What can we do to help care for God's world? God put the man and the woman in a garden. If you could plant a garden, what would you plant? We are going to sing our uh, as our spiritual practice this week. A spiritual practice can, brings a, can bring us closer to God, and music of any kind can be a spiritual practice to bring you closer to God. I'll sing a simple song, and um, then you can sing it with me. Get ready, okay. God made me God made you, God made all the living things, and God made us. Can you do that with me? Okay. God made me, God made you, God made all the living things, and God made us. <laughs> Are there songs that you like that remind you of God? How about this little light of mine 
or Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. You remember that one we have sung in Sunday school before? Or, my God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Or, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Oh, I got one. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. That's a good one for this week. Will you pray with me now? God, thank you for creating a beautiful world for us to live in. Amen. This week, sing to God as much as you want. And now, imagine that I am putting my hand on your head and receive this blessing. Elin, Petra, Maliki, Colin, Ford, and Will. May God bless you and care for you. Go now in love. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.